Cameron Brink, we are getting to know you both on and off the court. So I have become obsessed with your Instagram lately. Tell me a little bit about your branding and kind of what you're doing um, facing forward in the public, because I love your fitness modeling. You're just doing a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, a big credit to my agency, Wasserman. Um, they help me do all that I do, like with working with brands and everything. But yeah, I think I kind of like to keep it light and fun, colorful. I do see a brand that you're supporting and I'm so excited about it. Tell me about the WNBA on your wall. I, um, you know, it's a goal of mine one day, you know, like I would be dreaming of mine to play in the WNBA one day. And my favorite color is orange. So you can kind of see it from the rest of my dorm. You, you have an interesting NBA background too. Tell me a little bit about your family connection um, and kind of this unusual basketball background that you have. Yeah, so... It all kind of starts with my mom and Stefan and Seth and Sadell's mom. So my mom, Michelle, and their mom, Sonia, um, were roommates at Virginia Tech and the rest was kind of history. They became best friends. They're just amazing family friends. Stefan lives like 10 minutes away from me in Palo Alto. Sadell, his sister, is like a 30 minute drive. So, you know, I'm just really lucky to have all their support. And, you know, they're just a great family. I think it's unique in that, like, you grew up watching people do what you want to do and so it seems like normal to you right like it just seems like accessible I guess they've really paved the way for my like work ethic like I, I would see what um Stefan would do in the gym and Seth and like you know the the amount of work you really need to, you need to put in to be great is you know it's a lot more than anyone thinks and I'm still learning how to do that and they're just great role models for me every day all right you're very different type of athlete and body type, but have they ever helped you with your shot or moves? Yeah, totally. <laughs> they could help more because I'm- Okay, not. that's not fair. It's <laughs> that Steph Curry, the best shooter in the world is helping you with your shot. Okay. Give me a couple of tips. Well, the thing I struggle with most is free throws and he's helped me the most with that. And he always tells me that it's just more simple than I make it out to be. Um, he just he always tells me to look at the back of the rim and hold my follow through. So yeah, simple advice, but it works. Just low key, simple advice from the best shooter in the world. I like, yeah. I like that. What is your basketball? Why? why? Why have you fallen in love with basketball? So basketball has kind of always been a part of my life earlier on. Um, I hated the idea of basketball. I did not start playing really until like the sixth grade. Uh, my parents both played Division One basketball. My extended family, the Currys, obviously, they're all about basketball. And I was kind of turned off from the idea. Like, I didn't really want to be like everybody else in my family. Um, but then growing up, seeing how it really connected my parents, the Currys, I, I mean, I really wanted to give it a shot. And, you know, I just kind of fell in love with it. I fell in love with the like hustling on the floor and, you know, the bonds I made with friends and teammates. And, and yeah, I think, but ultimately my, my why is my parents, like they're at every game, they're my best friends. And um, yeah, they, they're they amazing. I love my parents. They are so cute. I saw them walking down the street at the final four and I was like, that's Cameron Brink's family because your mother <laughs> looks just like you. Like it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, she's my twin. So tell me a little bit about your body type and how you are as an athlete, because I, I look at you and I see Brianna Stewart type of frame. Like, what do you think you can be basketball wise? What do you think is your potential? People tell me all the time, like, I'm too skinny. Like, I need to put on a lot of weight. Um, and like, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think um, I'm still getting the job done down low on the post being like at the frame I am now. But I mean, the goal is to get stronger every day. And I try to do that. But I think what one of my strengths is, is that I'm quick and that I have a foot speed advantage. So I think staying out my way is important for that. And then I think I wanna to continue to develop my skills to be more guard-like and you know, be able to shoot behind the perimeter much better, so. Yeah, I think I've learned that. I covered Kevin Durant in college and we all kept saying, well, if he could just put on some weight, if he could just put on some weight and he he's put on a little in the NBA, but not a ton. Um, and he's maybe the best player right now in the NBA. So I think that it's an interesting conversation that maybe was an old way of thinking. Do you think that's fair to say? Yeah, no, I definitely do. I think I think it's not weight. I think it's strength and being able to control your body. And I'm not going to gain 30 pounds because I just can't. Like I've tried and I just can't do that. So I'm happy with my body 
and I'm happy with the way I'm playing and I don't really want to change that for anybody. Okay, tell me one other thing. You guys come in and you win a national championship and you're very young. What's been hard this year about, poof, we got to just do it again and it's a new season and we turn the page. Yeah, I think the hardest thing is like when any team plays us, they give us their 110% as they should. And we appreciate that. But I think it's it's really hard to just continue to playing to a standard that we did last year. It's been difficult, but we've been having so much fun along the way. And yeah, we just embrace it. Like we love good competition and we've gotten that every single game this year. I don't think we've had like an easy block. This seems like a really fun group. What's the balance between having fun, dancing on the court, Haley's so fun, um, and then like, okay, time to lock it down. I mean, I think even through the moments where we should be the most focused, we still are having fun. And I think that's really important for our team. Like, you know, being so serious all the time just kind of takes the joy away from the game. Like if you make a great pass or you hit a great shot, like we're going to be celebrating even if we're down at that moment. Like we're going to be making jokes even when it's difficult, but it's it's a balance of, you know, having that focus and still, you know, enjoying the, the game. So um, I think Anna Wilson and Alyssa Jerome are our leaders. I mean, Lexi Lacey Hole. Um, and even um, I want to shout out one of my teammates, Jenna Brown, like she's been off the floor for a couple of years um, due to injury, but she's still been an amazing leader for us. So I think our leadership, our leadership is just unmatched. So I think it's fascinating because if I look at your social media and kind of your brand building that you're building, I mean, you're gorgeous. You could be a model. You, you have this persona and you're doing fitness modeling and, you know, there's this look to you. And then I see you on the court and you're like totally different from, you know, I don't, I don't know ex exactly how to, but it's like, busting your, you know what, and, you know, no makeup and hard. And I'm just intrigued by these ideas of really two very different identities or are they the same? And does it all make up Cameron Brink? Yeah. I mean, that's a great question. I'm a very girly girl. I love to embrace my femininity. I love to put on a dress and some heels, even though I'm six, four, like, even if I'm six, eight with heels, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like I love heels and I love to do my makeup. And, but you know, I think when I'm on the court, I'm not like worried about looking pretty and, um, you know, putting up a front that like I necessarily do do on social media. Like, yeah, that's definitely all very posed and with filters and all of that. Um, and that doesn't matter when I'm on the court. When I'm on the court, I'm, I'm there to win and have fun with my teammates. And I think that's what I do. And yeah, I kind of love having the two worlds. It's really fun, but they're definitely very different and they're definitely still very a part of who I am. I really love that because when I was growing up, any one of us that liked sports, we were called tomboys. And now as we evolve as a society with our gender identifications and how we see ourselves, I just really like it that you can be everything. What other vision board things or vision do you have for your life and your career? Definitely WNBA, um, continuing to like do all this fun NIL stuff. Um, I don't know. I would love to like my dream is to like do sports illustrated stuff. I would love to do, like, I would cry. Um, I would, I, I love could you be a sports illustrated swimsuit model? Like you're doing a lot of the fish fashion and, um, fitness modeling stuff. I would, I would die if I, if that were a thing. Let's um, put that out into the universe. That's the goal. Manifest. Of yes. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think just enjoying college, being a, being a college student, you know, that's what I want to do. So. All right. WNBA, Sports Illustrated cover, happy life with her family, Cameron Bray. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.